In this video, we will go over how to send trips, export PDFs, access the mobile apps, and using the collaboration feature. When you're ready to go ahead and send a trip off to a client, there are a few different ways to do this in Travify. At the top right, you'll notice a few of those options, PDF, Preview, and Send. By selecting Send, you'll get two options from here that you can click into. If you wanna send a trip via a direct link, select Get Trip Link, and you'll get the Copy Web Link option as well as the Copy App Link option. If we select Email Invite to Clients, which is the method we do recommend for a few different reasons, this is the little pop-up window that you will receive. You have the option to CC yourself on that email, as well as including a custom message. Now you can create as many of these saved messages in your library that you can assign and choose to appear as the default message for your invites. Now sending it in this way means we can also track when and how many times that specific client accessed the trip. If you want more information on that, check out our getting started guide video on the expanded trip sidebar. But not only is it nice to be able to track that information, your clients receive a professionally formatted email. Here's what that would look like for them. They get the name as well as that custom message, a few options within the invite itself, as well as all of your contact information, which is pulled from the profile. Now, the other option you always have available to you is that PDF option. By selecting PDF, you're going to get this pop-up window with a few different options that you can use to customize this. Now, the more boxes that you select, the longer your PDF is going to be. If you want details about each and every option, make sure to check out our FAQ library on that. But to hit on some of the big ones, expanded means that for each new day, it's going to be put onto a new page. So this will make up more paper in the end of the day. Otherwise, including attachments at the end, that's going to make sure that any attachment you include on events is going to be included in that PDF that is generated. I'm gonna go ahead, select those two and select create a PDF. Clicking to download, it takes me right here. And here's what that PDF is going to look like. We have a trip summary, which is one of those optional choices. And it's going to include those photos and any event details that you decided to put into the trip. Now, the last option here is previewing it. When I select preview, it's going to take you to exactly what it sounds like, a preview of the trip. This is what your client is going to see. They're going to get the app and PDF option and they can interact with this trip in all the different ways, which is the images, if you include links or any place attachments, but you can also actually send them the link from here. I'm going to move my window down just a little bit, but you can actually copy this URL at the top and send it directly to your clients. Otherwise, you might notice this option for me, which is allowing me to put in my custom domain. Because I'm domain masked on my account with Travify, it's going to show my company name instead of Travify's. Domain masking is free to set up, so if you're interested in doing that, feel free to reach out to us at professional at Travify.com. Next, of course, is that PDF app option within here. Same type of thing, if they select app, they're going to be sent directions on how to view the app in trip plans. And if they select PDF, they're going to just get two options here versus where you had a lot of customization options. This is just to make sure it's really simple for them to read through and it's not going to confuse them. Now, one page that we do recommend just sending to your client if they are downloading the app is called Trip Plans. Tripplans.co will take you right here and it's a page really dedicated to travelers and to clients. It's going to tell them about all of the features, give them a video on how it works, and how to make sure they can view that trip that you sent them in this app. But lastly, let's talk about collaboration. When I hit that send button, the third option here is managing a collaborators. When I click that, we get this little pop-up window, and this is how you can invite others to collaborate on a trip with you to make any edits or just contribute to the trip itself. Now, they don't have to be current Travify users, but they will just be asked to sign up for a free trial account. Once they've been added in, they can make as many edits as they need to, and you can always remove them from here at any time. But that's it. 
That's how you can send your trips to your clients, allowing them to view their professional and beautifully crafted trip that you created for them, along with how to collaborate with others. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to check out the rest of our getting started videos.